Hey guys, today I will show you how to process tweets from Twitter and into HDFS. So we have Flume available from Hadoop services and this, this tool process all the real time data or streaming data into, into my HDFS. Now this is Flume architecture and here we can see in Flume we have to define source, channel and sync. Uh, and Flume agent perform the necessary action and it, it fetch data from, from uh, the defined sources and it will dump into STFS. Now here you can you can see these are the all components available in, in Flume. These are the available sources in Flume. These are the available channels and these all are the same. Right now I'm using Twitter as a source, memory as a channel and uh, my uh, sync part is STFS. Now for this, I required Flume server. On my desktop, I have Apache Flume. We can we can download Apache Flume from the Flume website. It's uh, Apache Flume. We can we can download Apache Flume from. Website Apache Flume. From here, you can you can download Apache Flume, put in certain directory. So I put this um, software on my desktop system. Now go inside this uh, Apache Flume, and inside Apache Flume we have configuration directory. Inside configuration, you can create your own configuration. Now for Twitter data. I um, create, uh, created this twitter.com file. So you can create your own file. Now inside configuration file, we have to define source channel and sync. Now on, on the top part, I declare Twitter as a source channel as mem channel as sync as STFS. These all my uh, source detail, this is my channel and this is my HDFS. Now in the source part, this class, Twitter source, this class will do the necessary steps. It will connect to my, uh, it will connect Flume to Twitter and then it start processing the tweets from, from Twitter. Now these are the security credentials. So we get these uh, security credentials from, from our Twitter account. So first we have to create Twitter account and we have to log in in apps.twitter.com. Now uh, here we have to create our application. Once application is ready, we have these details available. Key and access token. We have to pass these security keys in my configuration file. Now here you can see in the consumer key, I'm passing this token. Now next is my consumer secret token. We will use this token from our account. And we will pass this token in my configuration file. Next is access token. Access token, access secret. We will pass all the security credential from from this account. Next is my HDFS part. In HDFS, we have to pass my HDFS URL. My HDFS is running on this URL, and this is my HDFS file browser. So this is the web UI of HDFS. We can log in into this. We log it up. Username, password we have to fill, and we log in into HDFS. My file browser. This is my HDFS. Pass this URL in my uh, configuration file. Now my com file is ready. Now submit this job on, on Flume server. This is my Flume Flume server. Flume log it up. Next one. Apache Flume. Then now submit Flume agent. My agent name is Twitter agent. Submit this agent Twitter agent. And we have to provide path for our configuration file on Cloudera desktop Apache Flume. Conf inside Conf is Twitter. Conf. 
submit this job. Now Flume connect to HTFS and Twitter. Once it will be connected, it will start receiving all the tweets. Now you can see connection is established. And now it's received stream from Twitter and is processing those tweets into my HPFS. This is the URL um, in the logs you can see it is processing the tweets into this directory. Now we can go on the web UI and we can verify whether tweets are processed. Now user cloud has flown. This is the directory and inside this directory you can verify our public tweets. Here we can see my tweets are here. After this step, we have to analyze this data. We can perform sentimental analysis on this data and we can verify the positive and negative tweets related to any keyword. Suppose I pass Modi here in this uh, configuration file, Apple, Spa. So we can we can judge how many users like Modi and how many users dislike Modi so based on positive and negative views. So that kind of analysis we can perform using high paid spark. Even we can perform a Varina Python NLP operation on that. We can perform NLP for this data. That's it. Thanks. Thank you.